And over the next month, we'll be celebrating the diverse cultures that make up the Latino community in a series we're calling Yo Soy. And we kick things off tonight by introducing you to a travel blogger from Venezuela and her passion for one traditional dish. Yo soy venezolana. Yo soy latina. Yo soy una foodie viajera. Yo soy Rory. For Venezuelans, arepas is a passion, a cult. I love how arepas can bring a family together. When mom calls and say arepas are ready, everybody go to the table and it's quiet. I'm a travel content creator. I started my blog in 2008, 2009. I started adding Venezuelan recipes. I have a quesillo. Quesillo is a Venezuelan flan. That blog post already hit 3 million views. Today, I'm going to show you how to make arepas the Venezuelan way, the right way. If you ask a Venezuelan, do you like arepas? Yes, I like arepas with a little drama. Yes, our food is a mix of black, Indian, Spaniards. Today, we're going to make a reina pepiada. This is one of the most popular arepas. Venezuela is big and beauty contest. Susana Duin, she won Miss Mundo. Her dad told her to arepera and a man create an arepa after her called Reina Pepiada and Reina Pepiada mean Reina Queen so Pepiada mean like a curvy queen. We start boiling the chicken, mayo, we don't have quantity. You add by, you know, a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit of cilantro, some lemon. This recipe cannot skip the avocado water first. One cup is enough for three, four arepas. This is the uh, consistency that I like. You have to roll, the bowl is almost clean. This is a tradition for kids in Venezuela. You grab a little bowl of the corn dough and you start doing this. With this sound, you start singing. Arepita de manteca pa mamá que da la teta. This is an arepa. And I feel like this is perfect because you don't see anything on the edges. That's important that the arepa has to be always hidratadas so they won't crack. And now we're ready to fry these arepas. I start feeling like I'm an expert <laughs> in arepas. If I go in a restaurant, the first bite, I know the arepa is good or not. How you know when you buy the arepa and you feel a little crunchy outside and soft inside? I always feel like you can travel with, with flavors. Right now, I'm in Venezuela. Arepas are becoming more popular. Made me happy to see other cultures trying arepas. And when they smile, well, I smile too. 